Hello friends, uh, today's topic for our discussion is lack of operon. First of all, you understand what is an operon. All the genes which control a metabolic reaction constitute an operon. You know, lactose is a disaccharide which can be converted to glucose and galactose. Uh, the genes which control the metabolic uh, conversion of or a conversion of lactose into glucose and galactose that form the uh, lack operon. This concept of gene regulation is known as operon concept. This uh, operon concept was put forward by uh, Jacob and Monard. See, lack operon is a catabolic operon in which the structural gene involves in the conversion of lactose into glucose and galactose. See, while tripoporon is anabolic operon in which the structural genes involves in the synthesis of a product. Uh, namely the tryptophan. In lacoprone, there are five components. See, structural genes, then these are all structural genes, he said Y A, then operator, promoter and regulator. Regulator, it is represented, uh, represented by I gene because uh, uh, the repressor, it is inhibitory in function. So, that is represented I. Then another component that is inducer. Uh, five components, the structural genes, operator, promoter and regulator represent I gene. Here the structural genes will produce Z gene will produce beta galactosidase, Y gene produce permease, A gene trip A produce transacetylase. Each has its own function. This, this will convert the product of Z gene, it is beta galactosidase. This is the principal main uh, enzyme which control the lact, uh, convert the lactose into glucose and galactose. The uh, trip Y gene will uh, produce the uh, permease which will allow the or will permit the entry of lactose into the cell. The trip A gene will produce transacetylase uh, whose function is um, clearly not yet known, but it is supposed to be uh, helping in the complete breakdown of lactose. Okay. There are three structural genes, Z, uh, Y, A. The, the product of Z gene is beta galactosidase, which is the actual enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of lactose into glucose and galactose. The product of Y gene is permease, which is which facilitate the uptake of lactose into the cell. The product of A gene is transacetylase, exact function of which is not yet known, but it is supposed to help the complete breakdown of lactose uh, into glucose and galactose. See, adjacent to the structural gene is the operator, promoter and regulator gene. Here each has its own function. Here promoter is the region where the RNA polymerase binds and uh, uh, the transcription will, uh, will be initiated. The operator is the region where the repressor binds and uh, regulator gene uh, which is represented by I gene which will produce the repressor. Once the repressor binds uh, to the operator, RNA polymerase uh, cannot bind to the uh, promoter. So, the uh, transcription will be inhibited. You see, uh, this is the condition in which the, in the absence of lactose. Lactose is an inducer. In normal case, lactoprone is switched off. Here, the repressor is active. Active repressor can bind to the operator and then RNA polymerase cannot bind to the promoter, uh, then it is switched off. But lactose is the, uh, the inducer. Here the lactose, when it binds with the uh, 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 lep repressor, the repressor is no longer able to bind to the operator. Uh, then this will be induced. Thus lactose is acting as the inducer. Okay. When the lactoprone becomes uh, switched on, these enzymes will be produced and then see this enzyme will convert lactose into glucose and galactose. When all these lactose are utilized, then again 
uh, repressor become free. Uh, then again repressor we bind to the operator, then uh, uh, that again be become switched off. See, lacoperon is both a negative and positive control. Negative control is by repressor protein. A repressor protein and positive control is by CAP protein or CRP, CAP catabolite activator protein or CRP protein, cyclic AMP receptor protein. So, so uh, negative control is by repressor protein, then by uh, repressor protein is negative because when the repressor bind to the operator, the transcription, sto uh, transcription stops. The positive control is by CAP protein or CRP protein, I told you. You see, uh, in uh, the lacoprone, the promoter of lacoprone has two sides. It will be two sides. Here, one and two sides. One side for binding the RNA polymerase and another side for binding the CAP. So, CAP binding site is there, another site RNA polymerase binding site. If glucose level is absent in the cell, then cyclic AMB will be produced. Then cyclic AMB will combine with the CAP, the, uh, the CAP uh, cyclic AMB complex uh, will uh, bind here in the CAP binding uh, site. Thus, this will help the RNA polymerase to bind firmly in the promoter, thus transcription will be uh, 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 started, thus it is positively controlled. The positive regulation of lacoprone is also known as glucose effect, because in the absence of glucose cyclic AMP is produced. Uh, so controlled by CAP or CRP uh, protein, it is uh, also known as glucose effect, it is very important. See, uh, now we can study how lacoprone reacts depending upon the availability of glucose and lactose. See here, uh, both uh, glucose and lactose absent, then transcription does not take place. Then glucose absent, uh, lactose present, transcription take place. Then glucose present, lactose absent, transcription does not take place. When both glucose and lactose present, uh, transcription take place. How it? See, I shall display the first one, then uh, others you will understand it. You see, here glucose is absent. In the absence of glucose, what happens? Cyclic AMB will be produced. Cyclic AMB will activate the CAP protein that will uh, bind the uh, CAP binding site in the promoter and the RNA polymerase firmly bind to the uh, promoter. Thus, transcription will be proceeded. But here lactose is also absent then the repressor is free. This will bind to the uh, operator and uh, this RNA polymerase cannot bind to the, uh, uh, the, pro uh, the promoter, thus uh, transcription will be stopped. Thus, in the absence of both glucose and lactose, transcription does not take place. So, all these conditions are important, studied well. Now, we can answer cert certain questions on lack of prone. First question, which of the following is true of the lacoprone? A, the operon is only switched on in the absence of lactose in the growth medium. B, the lacoprone messenger RNA is a polycystronic mRNA. C, the promoter is the binding site for the lac repressor. D, all the above. See, it is, the, it is in the presence of lactose that the uh, operon is switched on because lactose can bind with the repressor and thus repressor uh, cannot bind to the operator. Hence, the option A is not true. The mRNA in lacoprone is polycystronic because it carries information for the synthesis of more than one protein or enzyme. So, the option B is correct. The binding of the binding of binding site for repressor is operator and not promoter. So, this is also incorrect. So, the answer is B. 
Then the second question, in terms of lactoprone, what happens when E. coli is grown in medium containing both glucose and lactose? A. Both CAP and the repressor are bound to the DNA. B. CAP is bound to the DNA, but the repressor is not. C. Repressor is bound to the DNA, but CAP is not. D. Neither CAP nor repressor are bound to the DNA. See here, in the presence of glucose, cyclic AMB will not be produced. So, CAP will not get activated and cannot bind with the CAP binding site of promoter in DNA. Lactose will bind with the repressor. So, repressor is no longer able to bind with the operator region of DNA. So, answer is option D. Third question, in lacoprone, the lactose A acts as inducer, B acts as repressor, C binds to operator, D binds to promoter. Here, the answer is very clear that lactose can bind with the repressor protein and it cannot bind with the operator and a transcription process will take place. Fourth question, lacoprone is by a negative control. B. Positive control. C. Both positive and negative control. D. No positive or negative control. Here the option is C. Uh, here the option C is absolutely correct. Positive control by CAP protein and negative control by repressor protein. Okay. So, uh, that is all about uh, lacoprone. Thank you for watching the video.